Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're delighted to be joined by Everton and Republic of Ireland goalkeeper Courtney Brosnan. Off the back of being called up to the World Cup and off the back of being International Player of the Year, it's been some season for you. Yeah, yeah it has been definitely. I'm just really proud and grateful to be in this position and to be a part of this group. And it feels amazing to be a part of the squad selected for our first World Cup. What's the, the atmosphere like? It seems quite relaxed, but also there seems to be a lot of excitement in the air. Yeah, I think definitely, obviously, we've been in camp for a few weeks now, so I think it's important not to get too stressed. You've got to stay relaxed, and I think everyone's really looking forward to it and focusing on training, but also trying to enjoy the journey and everything that we're accomplishing and taking part in. Yeah, um, I just... I did an interview with Jamie Finn there recently a few weeks back. I know she, she didn't ultimately make the, the final squad, but she did speak about the importance of that save over in Scotland, the penalty save. Um, and you've had a lot of good moments like that over the course of the campaign. Yeah. So you must, you know, we were watching videos earlier on of, you know, I think your save is almost as important as Amber's goal. I know you probably don't, you're probably too humble to accept that, but it is the, the truth of the matter. Yeah, I think obviously I've spoken a lot about I just try to do my best to fulfill the role that's needed of me in this team and whether that's saving a penalty or whether that's keeping a clean sheet or organizing the defenders or something like that. So, yeah, I feel it was a really special night for me in Scotland to be able to do something so directly to help the team win. And I'm definitely proud of that. And I'm glad that we were able to get it over the line and get here to, to the World Cup. Just over the course of the campaign, is there any other standout moments that, that uh, kind of stand out to you? Uh, personally or like... And Just in a general team. or both? Yeah, I think uh, the Finland game away, for us to go there on the back of obviously losing so narrowly to Sweden, and then Finland probably was expected to beat us, and I think... For me personally, I felt really confident with crosses that game and it just felt like we weren't going to lose. And I think that really set the tone for the rest of the campaign. And we were like, all right, we can do this. We can play against these teams that are bring higher than us and get the results we need. So I think there were plenty of moments there. But I think after that Finland game, that was then when we were like, all right, this, this is going to happen for us. Yeah, and also you have your counterpart there is goal against Sweden, which was obviously a standout moment yeah. as well. 100%. And I think obviously everyone knows the quality in the Swedish national team, how highly they're ranked and the caliber of players they have. So to be able to go there away and get a result, a draw against a top team like that, I think that for us really cemented everything we have been working for. And then, yeah, really proved to us that we belong there and we were we were going to be able to qualify. And just just obviously on, on this year for yourself, it's just been such a, such a good year. I mean, you established yourself as the Ireland number one. You've established yourself at Everton as well. You've got an extension on your contract there as well. Just on the back of a, a really good year. Has this been the best year of your career so far? Yeah, I think it, uh, it feels really amazing. I think as a goalkeeper, it's always hard and you have to wait for your time and things like that. An opportunity might not come, but I feel really proud of being able to take that opportunity when it came and be able to show myself and prove myself in the national team and at Everton as well. So, yeah, I'd say this is definitely up there. Qualifying for a World Cup is surely the highlight of my career so far. And just uh, while we're on the subject of World Cups, what are your, your, your favourite memories of World Cups when you, when you grew up as a kid? You know, if it, it's Ireland in 2002 or, or any other nation that you, or a player or a goal that was kind of your World Cup moment that stood out to you? Yeah, I think I just have so many memories like of watching with friends or watching with family and just like being all together. And obviously I feel like that's the amazing thing about football and the World Cup is that people want to watch it and people kind of tune in for that. So I think it's creating those special memories. And I think that's like the first thing I think of when I think of the World Cup is spending time with my family and friends and just enjoying watching football together. And just on that, are, they, are any of them going to be coming over to support? I imagine they will. <laughs> yeah, I got. I have a big crew coming out to Australia. So my parents and sisters will be there, my grandparents, my aunt, uncle and cousins, and then my other aunt, uncle and cousins, and some friends as well. So probably like 15, 15 to 20 people heading out. So Yeah, not long to go. How, how are the nerves? How, how is everything settling for you personally? Yeah, I think uh, you just don't want to take anything for granted, this whole journey and the process of it. And I feel, like you said, really excited and really proud and just honestly really looking forward to it. This is something I personally have dreamed of for so long and so many of the girls have. So I think 
it's just that excitement and we're just really ready to get out there and start playing. Yeah, well listen, I'm not gonna keep you held up any longer. Hopefully you'll get out of here soon. Thanks so much for your time, enjoy the experience and I'll see you over there. All right, cheers. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.